The Senate has expressed worry over the continuous borrowing by the federal government to fund the nation's budget. The President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, while giving an update to lawmakers on the revised budget for the year 2020, says the federal government must look for new ways to source for revenues in order to fund its budgets in the future. Senator Lawan says that about $28 billion, an approximate of 10 trillion naira, was approved in the last one year alone for funding of projects in the nation's budget and thus insisted that lawmakers must make it a duty to track, monitor, and supervise these projects. The Senate has passed the request of the executive on the revised budget 2020. The review of the budget 2020 is largely due to the adverse impact of COVID-19 pandemic on our revenues. As an oil-dependent economy, the slump in the price of crude in the world market means that the revenues we earn cannot meet the planned expenditures. The low revenues from crude exports also mean need to explore other sources of funding the budget. Hence, the resort to foreign borrowing from bilateral and multilateral sources. We have approved foreign loans of about $28 billion in the last one year. We had ensured proper scrutiny for the desired projects and programs of government, the conditions attached for the facilities before approving such borrowing requests. The task ahead of us is to ensure tracking, monitoring, and supervision of how the loans are applied. We must ensure that the target projects remain unchanged and that there is value for money also. The current experience of low revenues to government also challenges us to think and evolve new or additional sources of funding government projects, especially for the development of infrastructure. While borrowing may be inevitable, we should also consider a public-private partnership as a means of funding some of our government projects. The COVID-19 pandemic has revealed how weak our health infrastructure is.